All right, we've got the 2013 Subaru Crosstrek that we're taking a look at, uh, taking a look at, and we're just going to walk around the vehicle, show you each panel, uh, each of the wheels, and just uh, show you how overall. I mean, it's in really good condition. Uh, so here is the front left fender. Uh, no, you were asking about the tires. Uh, they are 10 30 seconds of an inch, uh, which I showed you on copy of that uh, of the used car inspection report. Not sure how good it'll turn out in the video, but. Uh, it's, it's got plenty of tread left. Here's a rim, and uh, I didn't see any curb rash on any of them, but just wanted to show you here on this one. Definitely really good. I apologize, it uh, just finished raining, so we've got some droplets all over the car. But this is the driver left front door. This is the left rear door. Left rear wheel, again, no nicks there, no curb rash. Come around the left rear quarter panel. Let's come around to the rear hatch and bumper. Looks like there's a small blemish there. lid. Rear bumper though is in, uh, looks to be in really good shape. Let's go ahead and open the hatch. Got the cargo cover still there. And you'll see that it has the all weather mats. This is for the cargo area. Looks like we got some white scuffing on the uh, right rear wheel well on the inside. Now let's come around on the passenger side. Come around on the right rear door. Looks clean. Right front door looks clean. Looks like, well, looks like there's a small blemish there. Right front fender. There's a right front wheel and forgot to show you the right rear wheel. We'll come back to that. Let's go back over that way. And again on this one you see I mean all the wheels, great condition. All the tires are the same tread depth, 10 30 seconds of an inch. Let's come around to the front bumper and take a look at the hood. Uh, front bumper is in, okay. is in great condition there. There's the hood. Windshield free of any cracks or stars or anything like that, any previous repairs. Windshield is clean. And here's a roof line. No visible dings or dents up there. And we're going to take a look on the inside here in just a minute. All right, let's take a look on the inside. Here is the driver's door panel. Clean. Didn't see any stains or any you know any rips or tears or anything like that. Same with the seat. Upholstery is in great condition. Stitching looks good. No wear on the bolster. Um, like I mentioned earlier, the car has the all-weather mats. So it has four all-weather mats and the rear cargo mat. Taking a look on the back, in the back seats. This is the left rear door panel. Again, clean rear upholstery. Great condition. You can see the all weather mats again. The 
Looks like there's a little scuff there on the back side of the center console. We looked at the inside of the rear hatch earlier, so we'll move on over to this side, the passenger side. Again, pretty much more of the same. Front passenger door panel clean, upholstery is clean, no stains, no rips, no tears that I saw. All right, and we're gonna take a look on the, uh, we're gonna drive it down the road, take a look on some of the things on the inside, uh, sitting in the driver's seat. Let's take a look on the inside of the car. Uh, so we, we've got the uh, keyless remote here. Lock, unlock, trunk, release. Starts right up. All right. The air is blowing cold. We've got cold AC. Excellent. Make sure the radio works. Not sure what kind of music you like, but uh, radio is working. Compare uh, Bluetooth audio, speed sensitive volume, um, all kinds of uh, all kinds of stuff going on over here. So CD, auxiliary input, FM, AM. Uh, let's see here. Looks like I don't know if you can see in the video, but we've got auxiliary and USB input in the uh, center console, which the armrest is adjustable. But you probably know that. You probably know more about the Subaru than I do. Heated seats, which is probably just a little below the video. Uh, everything's working up here on the on the uh, center stack. It looks like uh, glove box. We got the owner's manual. Excellent. Uh, up here we've got the. This is a button for the auto dimming mirror and the compass. Uh, sunroof controls up here, which. works. Um, that's what my camera is mounted to, so I'm not going to open it. Hazard lights work. Left turn signal, right turn signal, paddle shifters, uh, windshield wipers. Uh, looks like we've got a rear wiper too, which obviously you won't see in this video. Um, audio controls on the left side, cruise control on the right side, power windows, power locks. That's a pretty cool car. I, I like the visibility we've got in the windows. Uh, that's nice up there. So um, let's take it for a drive. 80,538 miles on the dash, is affirming. Steer's pretty straight. Looks like they did a good job with uh, everything there. And like I said, air's blowing cold. Left here. It's good acceleration. I mean, you heard a crank up. No hesitation earlier. And AC's getting a little cold there, so we'll turn it down. Um, but yeah, it drives good. Tires are good. I'm gonna check out the brakes here in just a second. Nice car. I don't know how long you've been looking for a cross track or if it's, it's uh, specifically a cross track that you had in mind or if you're considering other Subarus as well, but they definitely make a good car. And, and uh, a nice pre owned one is actually, we don't come across them real often just because, I'll tell you what, Subaru owners are loyal and they keep their cars a long time from what we've seen. So 
brakes, no one's behind me. Brakes pretty good, very level, no squealing going on. Yeah, I got something behind me now. So the U turn, steering is very light and easy. the Chevrolet building which we also is part of our auto group and there's a deceleration lane right here and then you just pull up right to the Nissan building and customer parking is slightly to the left here Let me know what other information I give for you, Tom, or if you'd like to go ahead and set up a day and time to visit. I'll be here the rest of the week from 9 to 7. Let me know what I can do to help out. Thanks again.